faith is natural. If something is natural, it means with God. If faith is natural, how do you receive that faith? You do not need greater faith. You need to know the faithfulness and trustworthiness of God. All you need to know is faithfulness and trustworthiness, which you have been saying today. Be healed. Be delivered. Be set free. Just like that. And the moment you know God is faithful and reliable, your faith grow spontaneously. With what we have seen now, you see, you begin to build that faith, it begins to increase in you. Faith in God, with what we are saying today. If you are zero before, with what you are saying now, you realize that you begin to have that that Z desire just naturally. The moment you realize that God is faithful, is reliable, is trustworthy, your faith grows spontaneously. And the moment you realize that God is reliable, you find yourself trusting Him. That's faith. That's his faith. I want to believe that you are a faith man, you are a faith woman. Amen. If I'm talking, let us see your hand. You know what faith is now. Some will say, until I read Bible from Genesis to the end. Say, ah, no, I have not been going to church, I don't have faith. I'm not a bishop, I'm not an evangelist. No, this is my first time coming to church. No, 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 I don't go to church. No, no, no. The issue of faith, faith is natural. Listen, you do not need greater faith. All you need faithfulness and trustworthiness of God. What you have been seeing now show that God is reliable. The moment you realize that ah, God is faithful, God is reliable, oh, it's reliable. You find that your faith grows naturally. The moment you live here now, you go inside your bedroom, you just find yourself go on your knee and start praying. Which it has not been like that before. It shows you begin to trust someone who is wiser than you, cleverer than you, and trustworthy than you. Something is growing now. Something is growing. Allow that to grow. Anointing is power of God. And the dividend of that power is what you have been seeing today. Fruit of that power. You see, it brings healing, brings salvation, brings this, brings that. You see people getting healed. People that have been crying for many years, just like that. Bah! It was just tap. No slap. If I slap you, you feel it. Yay, man of God. You slap me. It was tough. You know, there's difference between tap and slap. When you are fighting your neighbor, you slap. But when you tap, you tap friend. You slap your enemy. Uh, if it is slap, how many people would I slap? and I will get tired. Okay, you just slap, slap three people and see how you feel. You get tired. But you can tap three long people. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Yeah. So if were to be traditional way of praying, the traditional way of praying is this. In the name of Jesus, be he. In the name of Jesus, be here. How many people will I do that to? <laughs> Even the boy, in the name of Jesus, in the name of, you call it the name of Jesus, the name of the for 10 minutes, you get tired. 
Okay, let it try. In the name of Jesus, you are here. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, be healed. In the name of Jesus, be healed. The person talking now is Mr. Tibi Joshua, not Prophet Tibi Joshua. If it is Prophet, this one will f- you fly. The brother, you know your brother. He's just like you. Yeah. <laughs> He's not a prophet. He's not a prophet that's talking now. <laughs> that's why I can touch you. In the name of Jesus, be healed. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, be healed. The method God has given me. Look at it. It's just like that. I don't know how many. If you now say I should carry on, I let you know what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus, that's crazy. It is light we carry, and once you light that candle, you just touch. The just in the name of Jesus once can do the whole. Wow. Are you with me? Yes. If I now begin to say, in the name of Jesus be he, in the name of Jesus be he, in the name of Jesus be he, it is only one that Jesus had out of the three times I call him. It unbelief that made us to call that name several hours. Are you, if you quite understand, let me see your hand. Now, in the name of Jesus, 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 be he. How many times? Five times. If that healing come only once, Jesus said, all other four, because that come out of unbelief. It's just like a human being. If I call my mommy, mommy here now, mommy, 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 by the time mommy here, he will only hear once. And say, yes, what do you want? And he will not begin to answer me three times. Mommy, yes, mommy, yes, mommy, yes. And mommy said, yeah, something's wrong. <laughs> so this is just our challenges. We have a lot. When it comes to things of the spirit, we are all baby. We that are into the work of God, there is so much fight in the church because we don't understand ourselves. The journey is so difficult, we don't understand. Even you don't even know whether this person is a man of God. You, man of God, you don't even know another man of God that is a true man of God. Can you see how difficult the job? Are you with me? Come, let me give you a good example. Come, brother, come. Come. Come here. Stand here. Okay, see? See? So we, ministers of God, we are all ministers of God. Could you believe that uh, we may not even know we are all ministers of God? This one may not even know that this one is, is, is a child of God like him. And they will be fighting him. Why this one too will continue to fight him? Can you see? And what is the cause of this? Why we don't even know ourselves? Why? Because we don't know the strength of the ministry. The strength of the ministry is not the crowd. The strength of the ministry is not the number of people that worship or the number of branches you have all over the world. The strength of the ministry is the Holy Spirit. There are many ministers of God that have five members and they are more anointed than some ministers of God that have the biggest crowd in the world. That they know you all over the world does not mean you are the most anointed person.
that your ministry is known all over the world does not mean you are the most anointed person in the world. Many of God, they don't know that. Your church is the biggest in the world. Does not mean you are the most anointed person. There are some minister, five members, mushroom church, that are more anointed than you. So the moment we know this, no more fights. We are running for member. Everybody is trying to have the largest churches in the world. Everybody is trying to have branches everywhere. Everybody is trying to have crowd to be known. Everybody is trying to be known all over the world. This is the cause of fight. And we disregarded the truth, the principle. Okay, if the largest number of the branches and all over is the most anointed, why the synagogue only Kotuigbe and is known all over the world? Here in Kotuigbe, a small village, only just a narrow road that linked to the church and known all over the world. And we refuse to advertise our program in any channel apart from humanity. And you cannot see the signboard anywhere all over the world. When you are coming here, you can't see signboard, signposts to tell you this is the direction of the church. Think about that. And we will never one day look for you if you don't come to church. Nobody will want to know your house and begin to disturb you. Why are you not come to church? What is the problem? You have to come to church. Okay. You don't need to collect any letter before you leave this ministry. If you want to leave, leave, leave. Because you, I never ask you letter before you come to this church. So we are just talking of the strength of the ministry. The strength of the ministry. Once we know that, no problem. So thank you, brother. Thank you. God has given us adverts. God has given his ministry advert. Every living ministry has advert, three advert. What you say about me is an advert to me when you live here. If you live here today, tomorrow you now go to the town and say, ah, that man is devil, he's not a man of God, you are advertising me. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow you just leave here and say, ah, that church, don't go there, they used to tie people down. You know, you say, bad church, you are indirectly advertising me. Because the people you are telling will want to confirm whether truly they tie people down. By the time they now come and find out that the people are not tied down, they become member. <laughs> I've been using this advice for many years. People don't know. This is why I did not have sign post. No board. You cannot see any sign post outside. This is advice God has given me for the past 30 years. God said, don't have any signpost, signboard. People who advertise your ministry to the war. Free or charge. Thank you for your advice. So, you to live the truth. Let people advertise you. Don't fight. Whatever people say about you, if truly you are genuine, whether they condemn you or they spoil your name, they praise you, they are for your good. Yeah. 
take your time, just ask yourself, what brought you here? You will know what people say about me that brought you here. You are here to confirm. And that confirmation will lead you to friend. We will we'll soon become friend. So that is it. So don't fight. Take it easy. What people say about your business? What people say about your family? What people say about your life out there? They are for your good. If truly you are sent by God, it will turn around to favor you. 